everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your BIOS so that you're ready for the upcoming release of the 9800X3D. Uh, this might also interest you because there have been some performance updates over the past couple of months, especially for the new 9000 series CPUs, so you might want to consider updating your BIOS because of that as well. So you will need to get yourself a USB thumb drive and look up your motherboard model number and revision number. Now. For finding out what the manufacturer and model of your um, of your motherboard is, that's fairly easy. You can download CPU-Z and look on there. I wouldn't trust that though for the revision number. For that, you'll need to go and actually look on your motherboard to find it. For mine, I'm using an Gigabyte X670 Aorus Elite AX and it's revision one. And that revision number is easy to find. You're gonna need a flashlight, but since it's in a case, but it's at the bottom left-hand corner. If, but if you have your uh, motherboard box, you can easily go to that and look up all the information you need from your box. So first thing we're gonna do after we find all that is take your USB drive and insert it in your PC. And from there, we're gonna have to format it. So go through and find the drive, right click on it, go to format, and we're going to format using FAT32. So after it's formatted, you can just Google the manufacturer, model number, and revision number of your motherboard. And from there, the top search should lead you to the support page of that motherboard. And then on there, you can confirm that I am on the X670 X670 or Elite AX revision one. Um, support page. Uh, there's a 1.3 and a 1.1 1 .1. uh, so those are the ones I don't want. If you download the wrong revision it could break your motherboard. And from there we're gonna go to the support tab. Scroll down to BIOS and here we can see that a new BIOS update came out on October 16th, 2024, and this BIOS update is for the next gen Ryzen X3D CPU. So this is going to A, either allow that CPU to function on your BIOS, or like it says here, it's going to optimize the performance. So we'll just download from here. So after it's done downloading, I'm just going to go into the download uh, folder. And then once I'm in the download folder, I am going to extract it. And I want to extract it to the drive, the thumb drive that I just formatted. So now that the files are extracted to the thumb drive, I'm going to shut down my computer and I'm going to take that USB drive and there's a specific USB port in the back of my computer that I need to insert it in and that's where the BIOS update has to happen. So once the USB is inserted, I'm going to power on and I'm going to smash the delete key until I enter the BIOS. So once you're in the BIOS, we're going to go down here to QFlash. Click over here and we're going to find the BIOS update that we're looking to update, which is this one. And we're going to hit the triangle to move forward. Yes. And then you're not going to touch it until it's done. It might restart a couple of times. Don't touch anything. So now you can tell after the update, the BIOS version is F32D, which is the new BIOS update that we just installed. 